All right, guys, welcome back to another video of Shaman J. So today I'm going to be discussing my Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. I've had this watch since launch, uh, and it has proven to be one of the better smartwatches that I've used as far as the overall experience. But it does have a shortcoming, and um, like all things, nothing can be perfect. Uh, but at the same time, this watch has very few flaws, I'll say. So I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it to date. I have not had any kind of breakdowns or anything like that. It hasn't it hasn't failed me in any way. I just want to go ahead and get it out of the way now because there's so many positives that I like about this watch. I don't want to end on that kind of note. So let me go ahead and uh, unlock it here. So if you notice here, I have on power saving mode. I have power saving mode on and I keep power saving mode on for one good reason. The battery is not up to my standards. So um, I've seen some people report, shout out to Will's H Tech, uh, Will's Gadgets and more. He's getting about two days and I'm not getting two days. I'm getting about a day or a little over a day. Uh, and when I don't have power saving mode turned on, possibly about a day or just right at a, I'm talking about like a full 24 hours. I'm able to at least squeeze that out of it. But that's not good enough for me because I use a watch called the Amazfit GTR4. And then I also use the entire Amazfit lineup. And they're obviously more universal. You can you can do more with them. They can link to any device. But when I'm rocking a Samsung device, I definitely want to have the latest Samsung product. And this is this is it, man. This classic is beautiful. But before we get to hardware, I'm running the power saving mode on and I've had the power saving mode on I've been running it like this for probably about nine days straight possibly I've had the watch for a couple of weeks whenever it launched I got it I walked in on launch day I walked over into Best Buy and got mine and I've had it since then I've been using it and it's just been a phenomenal watch just with that only drawback uh, if you notice what my smartwatch videos and some smartphone videos battery life is critical it's crucial it's no it's no it's no good in having a phenomenal device if it's not going to work right you know what i'm saying like if it's not going to work the way you want it to work what's the point of having it so if i i can have all the fancy features i want but if it doesn't last long enough then that's kind of pointless so with that being said i'm actually pretty excited that i can go at least 24 hours on a single charge but with battery saver turned on I'm getting a solid two and a half, three days. And so I was kind of shocked when uh, when Will's, Will was like, Will's guys, he was like, man, I'm getting two days. I'm like, man. But it also depends on, because um, I'm pretty sure, it's, I've actually heard a lot of other people report about the same battery as him, if not better. But it depends on the applications you have, how many notifications you have. And also, I take phone calls on my watch, uh, and it's, it's actually pretty decent. So, like I said, that's the only bad thing that I've come up with on this watch. Nothing else. Um, I, I like everything about it straight up. It's, it's a phenomenal watch So I'm gonna go ahead and unlock it one more time. I'm gonna keep it on my wrist so it can stay unlocked So this this watch Clearly is something that Samsung thought through they brought back the rotating bezel They brought this back. This is this is a huge thing for Samsung fans it, it appears now for me. It's not that it's not that big of a deal. If it doesn't have it, it doesn't have it Because um, I, I have the watch four and if you don't recall I traded in my watch 5 pro uh, Yeah, the watch 5 pro had a bigger battery, but the watch 5 pro experience was just different I didn't like the hardware after getting it for a while And so that was like one of the things I said I'm, I'm just gonna ditch this because I don't I don't want to have ugly hardware or not hardware. I'm not impressed with uh, and you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, no. My, my sleep is not an hour and 40 minutes, by the way. <laughs> it's, it's it's a full nine to 10 hours of sleep. They, I don't know why. I, I took the watch off. That's what happened. I took it off last night. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, the, the hardware in here is so beautiful. So um, I, I've spoken about it before. This this version of, of the watch just looks great. It's a phenomenal looking watch. And I, I was going to get the black version, but the only reason I didn't get the black version is because I had the Watch 5 Pro. And... It was, the, it was that color, and I was like, I'm going to switch it up. You know what I'm saying? I like different color watches, and I like some different color things. I like to, to spice it up a little bit, and that's something that I found was, was very intriguing that I really liked about this one. It doesn't look like a smartwatch 
you know, I have, I have other watches. Like I have real watches that actually tell time and you have to actually know how to tell time, you know, with the second hand. <laughs> I have watches like that. Um, and this watch right here, while you can set them up that way, just looking at this hardware, you really wouldn't think this was a smartwatch. Uh, just at first glance of it. But every everybody knows now that pretty much people are wearing smartwatches. I think everybody can look at someone's arm and say, okay, that's a smartwatch. That's a this, that's a that, you know. It's always just Galaxy or Apple Watch. Those are the only two watches that people seem to know of, and that's great marketing on those two companies' parts. But uh, yeah, so the battery life, not so great. The hardware, freaking beautiful. It's, it's, it's just a, it feels good when I wear it. I'm gonna go ahead and probably buy the uh, Camel Band Really think that's a good look for it and really spice it up even more. This silver looking band or whatever, it's cool. It's like a faux leather. It's cool and everything, but I think it, I think this watch deserves a camel version band or even a dark blue band. Just anything other than this color. Um, yeah, I think it deserves, I think it deserves that. It deserves another band. So while the hardware is great, the software experience is, is even better, man. I'm check my heart rate. Okay, I'm feeling good. I'm within range. You know what I'm saying? My resting heart rate is, is, is good. So, and I did that because sometimes the software on some products just isn't accurate. It's just not accurate. And I found that, you know, with Samsung, a lot of the stuff um, that they have on their watch, it's pretty good. I like, I like it a lot. Um, yes, yes, yes. Why is it doing this? Yeah, while using that, why is it doing it? Okay, here we go. Yeah, but um, I'm going here because I compared the the Watch Five Pro GPS with the um, GTR Four GPS, and man, it it definitely was spot on. The GTR Four has great GPS. Uh, it has like eight signals uh, points it can use or something like that. I don't know how many this one has, but. I, I have yet to use it and I'm going to go ahead and go. It's, it, we're under a heat advisor, so I can't go for my hike that I was doing before. This is a lot going on right now where I live at. The weather, we're under restrictions for water. Everything is just crazy right now. But I will tell you that using this, this watch just as is with the workouts that I have done indoors, it's good, man. I like it. It's, it's pretty accurate. Uh, no, no ifs, ands, or buts with it. It's, it's good. I just hit... I just start working out or whatever, and then it'll automatically pick up what I'm doing. Uh, but I like it a lot, man. I like the fact that Samsung has a lot of um, workout uh, routines that you can do. I just got something new in, so I'm going to be using it on that as well. Um, yeah, a quick little hint. There you go. Just got that new, new in. And so I'm going to be testing out, you know what I'm saying, see how well Samsung is accurate with their software for workouts. I'm, I'm big on health uh, because I have to be, <laughs> you know, I got to take care of myself. Uh, and I just think it's important that we all do. So the software on here, it's, it's a smartwatch. You can change the watch faces by long pressing like this, or you can go ahead and go to the um, uh, app itself and change them. You can go over here like this, go to where, and then you go here and you can go here and you just go to watch faces and you can change the watch faces however you want Let's see if we can uh do funny faces i tried to do this uh i think the other day and it just never updated i was like what's the deal it's, just, it's not gonna update so um yeah oh i guess it's it's gonna clown me and troll me on video now it's actually gonna work i think it's pretty cool that that you can um have a bunch of different watch faces, but this is how you change the watch face. Um, nothing, nothing fancy. There's a lot of them in here, uh, and oh, this is pretty nice. Photos. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna have to grab that one too. Um, but I think it's it, this also is gonna determine your your battery life too. What watch face you're using? As you can see, the watch face I'm using is not too crazy, but you know what I'm saying it's got a few things on. It's got a few compilations on there, so. I don't know how this funny face one is going to be. It's probably going to it's probably going to be even more uh, of a battery hog. Nonetheless, um, that's how you change the watch face, and the application is very intuitive. It's super simple. 
to 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 do things with it. So if I go into customize, and you can see uh, I can choose this. I can choose the clock font. I can get the first compilation, the second compilation, the third compilation, the fourth compilation. I could just do, I'm saying whatever I want to do in here. Simply put, yeah, it's nice. So if you put battery there, see what the battery looks like. That's pretty cool. And then I'm gonna go back over here to the first compilation and put the put the date or whatever. Switch those two, and you can see that's what it looks like. Get the full date. You save it, and then it switches over here already. It's already done. Yeah. So, I mean, and this is still going. But you know, the application is is super intuitive, very easy to understand. Nothing nothing going on with the application. And once you set your watch up. It's, it's good to go. Now, I do want to show you something that I have active on here. I'm sitting my phone right here off, off to the side right here. I'm going to go into this. I have the uh, camera set up right here on the bottom portion. So I'm going to hit camera. And it's going to go ahead and say, okay, it's going to connect. It's going to connect to my phone. As you can see, it's loading the preview. As you can see here, that's my Nest. Um, my, uh, my, my, Nest, my Google tablet, the 11 inch, look right here. I got a full view of what it can see on my phone. So I just have my phone. You can kind of see my phone like right here. You get a real live view of it, man. And I basically just have my, um, I turned on my, um, my camera for my garage. I keep the garage open and I'm sitting in my office. Sometimes I'll just keep it open on the Gals on the on the uh, Pixel tablet right here on my desk because uh, it's it's kind of like off to my side or whatever. But um, I just keep it propped up like this. I'm, I keep my um, my tablet open uh, on, on my desk right here in my office, and I can see my garage. Not that I'm scared something's gonna happen, but if I'm looking for packages or something like that, um, you can kind of see where it is. So um, looking here at it on here. You can see I get a full preview of what's on the watch, and that's what's that's what's so sick. Like I can here's my here's my uh, Mac right there. You can see that's pretty dope. Look right there. You can see my Mac. That's crazy, right? I like the preview that you can do. You can control your camera on on uh, watch, and you can actually shoot video. You can do whatever you want to do with it. You can take photos. You can do it all. It's actually really it's, uh, that's one of the nicest features. And it's not a new feature, but I will seldom use that. But you know, what I'm saying like with a, I was I've been playing with it a lot more, and um, it's actually really cool, man. So owning owning the watch, man, the software, the hardware, the functionality, the the phone calls. I want to talk about phone calls real quick before I get out of here because I've already addressed the battery. I'm not too fond of the battery uh, at all. You know, I need more than a day on, on without power saving, but that's what I get without power saving. So I'm willing to sacrifice. And and not have power and have power saving power saving on, and um, get more life out of it. I still got phone calls, notifications come through. Everything comes through the same. Like nothing is different. It's still um, it just you know always on display is off, but you can manually turn that off. And maybe I should try that uh, turning off uh, some things w without having power saving turned on, and that might help. So I don't have to do it. But I don't see anything wrong with using power saver with this watch because. It charges really fast. When I do have to charge it, it charges really fast. The, the fast charging is really nice. Uh, within 30 minutes, I think I'm almost at 100, depending on where I am. Uh, when I when I let it go down to um, like 10% or 20% or whatever, it takes about an hour or so probably to charge. Maybe I think I haven't really timed it, but it takes a little bit of time to charge. But that's okay. But it, it, when it does charge, it, I know I'm gonna get two and a half, almost three days out of it. So. But having power saving mode on, that's the trade off. I can charge really fast. I still get all my notifications like phone and I still get all of that stuff and I don't have a problem with it. So the software is solid. The performance is solid. Um, having little quirks in the features and stuff like that in the software is really nice. It's just an all around nice watch. The hardware is crazy. It's really nice. It's a sleek watch. And I have a lot of watches, folks. I mean, I have a lot of them. I like that this watch is a 47 millimeter and it looks like a standard watch. It doesn't look like a smart watch when, it, when it's not in use or whatever, because as there's watch faces I can put on here that'll make it look like a standard watch or whatever, you know what I mean? So nonetheless, phone calls. Like I said, I think I said initially at the beginning of the video, I take a lot of phone calls and I take them on the watch because most of the time I just, want, I just have my phone somewhere else 
and I'm in the kitchen and my phone will be in my office or just somewhere and I'll be like, oh shoot, I can I look for my phone, the phone's not I hit it on the watch. Now it doesn't sound the best for phone calls, but it sounds really decent, man. You have to be in a quiet area and you'll be able to you'll be able to take a phone call. Simply put. So if you're considering getting the watch, uh the, the watch six classic, I recommend it. Um like I said, I gave up my um I gave up my watch five pro for this. And I don't, I don't regret it at all. I don't regret trading it at all, man. I really, I really like this over the Watch 5 Pro on, on a bad day. Even though the Watch 5 Pro had pretty decent battery, this right here is, is where it's at, man. This is a really nice, sleek watch. It's, it looks better. It feels better. It just, I don't know. It just, it's really nice. So, it's your man Jay. See you in the next one. Take care.